Buju, Kitamage Nene Ireland Indigenous, and welcome to this read of Science Unit One Assessment. This video is for students who would like the test read to them. If you do not need it read to you, you have the option to exit out of this video and take the assessment. I do recommend that you have the document open before watching this video. So if you need to pause or do what you need to do to facilitate that, that way you can go back and forth between the video and the document. Those of you who have stayed for the reading, you start out by answering, what is your name? First question, the image below is a simple model of how energy flows through a dinosaur food chain. The arrows represent energy moving through the food chain. Use this model to answer questions one and two. Just as a reminder, as you answer these questions, pause the video to answer the question and then come back to it. One, scientists think that Tyrannosaurus rex was able to run at a speed of 12 miles per hour. Where did T-Rex get the energy that it used to run when it was alive? A, T-Rex got its energy from Triceratops. That energy is not connected to the sun. B, T-Rex got its energy from green plants, which got their energy from the sun. C, T-Rex got its energy from eating Triceratops. Triceratops ate green plants and green plants got their energy from the sun. Or D, T-Rex got its energy directly from the sun. So choose A, B, C, or D. Pause the video and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. Number two, scientists think that the dinosaurs went extinct because an asteroid hit the earth and created a giant dust cloud that covered up the sun. Diego doesn't think this explanation makes sense. He says, some dinosaurs ate other dinosaurs to get their energy. Why would removing the sun cause the carnivores to go extinct? Explain to Diego why carnivores would go extinct without the sun. You can use evidence from the energy model above. So before you type your answer, pause the video. And when you're done typing, come back. You may pause the video now. Welcome back. The images below show organisms that are part of a forest ecosystem system. Use these images to answer questions three, four, and five. Hawk, oak tree, squirrel, dead leaves, cricket, robin, earthworm. <clears throat> three, describe how you would connect the organisms of the forest ecosystem using arrows to create food chains. Each arrow should point in a direction of how material or matter travels in each food chain. For example, a squirrel eats acorns from an oak tree. So you, you would say oak tree and then draw the arrow here to the squirrel. You may pause the video, see you on the other side. Pause it now. Welcome back. Number four, scientists are worried that it is a disease that kills oak trees will spread into this forest. What would happen to this ecosystem if all the oak trees suddenly disappear? Choose all correct answers. It means you might have more than one correct. A, if there aren't any oak trees, the squirrels will not have anything to eat. They will need to find another food source or they will not survive. B, if there aren't any oak trees, the robins will not have anything to eat. They will need to find another food source or they will not survive. C, if there aren't any oak trees, the hawks may not have anything to eat because the squirrels and robins may not survive. Go ahead and choose the ones. Remember, you are welcome to look back at this image. Pause the video and I'll see you on the other side. You may pause now. Welcome back. Amir, released some pet frogs into the forest ecosystem shown above. These frogs eat earthworms and crickets. Hawks, robins, and squirrels do not eat these frogs. 
What will happen to this ecosystem if the frogs start living here? Choose all correct answers. A, the dead leaves will pile up because the frogs will eat all the de decomposers. The decomposers will not be there to eat the leaves. B, the squirrels will not have anything to eat. They will need to find another food source or they will not survive. C, the robins will not have anything to eat. They will need to find another food source or they will not survive. D, the hawks will not have anything to eat. They will need to find another food source. Go ahead and choose whichever ones apply. Remember, you may look back up at this image to help you answer the question. You may pause the video now. Welcome back. Number six, Anna wants to open a plant store, but she worried that it will cost too much money. Anna thinks that as plants grow, they use the material from the soil to get bigger. Potting soil costs a lot of money. Anna is worried that she will need to buy a lot of soil to feed her plants. She decides to set up an experiment. Anna grows one plant in a pot for three weeks. She weighs the plant and the soil at the start and end of the experiment. See, at the start, the plant was 300 grams and the soil was 800 grams. At the end, the plant was 800 grams and the soil was still at 800 grams. The results of Anna's experiments are shown above. What did Anna, Anna find out with her experiment? Choose true or false for each of the sentences below. First one, the plant weighed the same at the start and end of the experiment. True, false. Next one, the plant weighed more at the end of the experiment. True, false. Next one, the soil weighed the same at the start and end of the experiment. True, false. Final one, the soil weighed less at the end of the experiment. True, false. Number seven, do you think Anna should be worried about the cost of soil for her plant store? Why or why not? Provide an argument based on the results of her experiment. So go ahead and type that in and I'll see you on the other side for the next question. Pause the video now. Welcome back. Anna decides to do another experiment. She starts with two plants, plant A and plant B. Each plant weighs 300 grams. She attaches plant A to a vacuum. The vacuum pumps all of the air out of the container around plant A. Plant B is not attached to a vacuum, so it has air around it. Anna gives plant A and plant B the exact same amount of water. She runs the experiment for three weeks and then weighs the plants at the end of the experiment. So at the start, plant A and plant B were both 300 grams. At the end, plant A was 300 grams. Plant B was 750 grams. So looking at Anna's experiments, what is the claim that you can make about plants and their growth? A, plants mostly use materials from the soil for their growth. B, plants mostly use materials from the water, from water for their growth. C, plants mostly use materials from sunlight for their growth. Or D, plants usually, mostly use materials from the air for their growth. Choose which one you would like. If you need to look back, then pause the video and come back. Go ahead, pause now. Welcome back. Number nine, final question. What evidence do you have to support your claim from the question above? Provide an argument using evidence from Anna's experiment to support your claim. At this point, you will type in the final question answer. And then when you are done, make sure you hit submit. Good luck, and I will see you on the other side. You may pause the video now. Welcome back. Did you hit submit? I hope so. Thank you for listening in on the reading of the unit one assessment. If you have any questions about accessing the assessment, please email me at mirland at sagchipschool.net. After your assessment is completed and turned in, if you'd like to discuss your answers or areas of confusion, please reach out to me during office hours. 
or send me an aforementioned email. And we'll try to give you one more chance to show what you know in another assignment. And quiz. Hope you all have a minute. Good, you good? Bye, my